Hey guys, my name is Michael Cho. I'm the co-founder of Frodobots. We're a deep in project working on the intersection between robotics and gaming. Our goal is to advance robotics AI, or basically embody AI, by crowdsourcing hopefully the world's largest real-world data sets with robotic gaming. So this is our first gaming title. It's called Earth Rovers. The best way to describe this is think of it as playing Mario Kart, except that you do this in real life with a cyber robot. So it's kind of like an RC car, except that it has 4G connection. So because this is connected over the internet, so you could be a gamer, let's say, sitting in Singapore, and yet control a robot, let's say, halfway across the world in New, in New York, while taking on real-world navigation uh, missions. So um, this is a browser-based game. You don't need to download anything, um, just uh, on the browser. And there's a speaker and microphone as well, so you can literally talk to people around the robot. And we've been testing this for the last two years in various conditions, rain or snow, day and night. And actually, now actually more than 20 cities. Um, so here's a quick map of like some of the robots. So we're just under 100 robots now, but over 20 cities. And some more video footages from cities like Madrid, uh, Auckland, and Vienna. So along the way, some of our social media actually went viral. And with that, we actually have a bunch of players who show up. And actually, some of them do buy the Game Pass and actually started paying us to play the actual game. And today, I'm super excited to announce that we actually just dropped this kind of scavenger hunt uh, gameplay mode. So the idea is that now you can actually just pick up this robot, just kind of like a toy, like for $300. And with that, you can play basically something like a Pokemon Go kind of gameplay, again, in real life. So you can be driving your bot in your neighborhood. And then on the map, you see locations with loot boxes. And you drive towards it. It's some NFT, right? Half the time, it's, it's, it's poop. But if you get lucky, you can actually get some rare NFT. And we think there's a lot of like, very interesting AR element that we want to continue to build uh, in the coming months. Um, so yeah, this is like a, a collection. So obviously, some of the rare ones uh, will be in the legendary collection. And uh, so that's on the gaming side. But I do want to talk a fair bit about our traction on the AI side. So a couple of months ago, we open sourced this data set. So it's about 2,000 hours of real-world driving data. So that's about 2 terabytes collected in the real world from a dozen cities. And it turns out this is already the largest robotic urban navigation data set in the world. And so, um, and we are super excited to be working with an AI lab uh, from UC Berkeley. So they're working on an academic paper now, and they should be publishing in a few, few months' time. That would be about five terabytes of uh, data. And uh, even more exciting is this uh, Earth Rover Challenge that we'll be organizing next month in Abu Dhabi. So IROS is actually one of the biggest robotic conferences. And the setup of this competition is basically we have five human gamers. And so on that front, we partnered with YGG. So for the last couple of months, we have a lot of gamers from YGG basically grinding the game. And we are taking the top five gamers to represent humanity. And then on the other side, there are five AI teams. And on that one, uh, we are working with five really good like, uh, robotic labs from the likes of Carnegie Mellon and UC Berkeley. And just to give you a snapshot of what's happening, so um, this is like real life capture from two of the teams, so one from US and one from Korea. Two separate AI models controlling our robot right through our SDK, and really train using our data set. Um, and so, uh, the event is going to happen next month. The whole thing will be live streamed as it is an esports event. So do check it out. And also a quick shout out to Exhibits who are actually uh, providing compute support because even at that two terabyte, you start to use need to use something like a H100 to train the model. And this competition actually is not just organized by us. Uh, as you can see, we are actually doing it together. With, in my view, some of the best robotic AI researchers in the world, uh, most of them coming from Google DeepMind, as you can see, but also academia and meta AI. So the question is, why would researchers of their caliber want to partner with some uh, project like us? Uh, definitely not because they love crypto. Um, it's because I think we provide them with two things that is kind of game changing for them. Number one, of course, the data. Um, but more recently, we realized that this concept of evaluating the models in the real world, that's actually something that they never get to do. Um, so right now, when we show up to them, hey, we have 100 bots in 20 over cities that allows them to evaluate how good or how bad is the model. That's just something that even you know, the best labs in the world, even Google DeepMind, won't have. Um, so uh, we think of researchers as really leading indicator of where this field is going. So we'll hopefully continue to work in the intersection where we can create fun gaming experience for the humans while making sure that the data that's generated is also very useful and, in fact, critical for and body AI research advancement. So uh, anyway, if you're interested, follow us on social media. The game is free to play, uh, at least a free version. And if you're so interested, just 
pay a couple hundred bucks, uh, pick up our robot, and try to maybe collect some poop or some rare NFT. Um, and that's it. Thank you. Mm -hmm.